This lesson is all about how to create sad and moody chord progressions. So chord progressions are the foundation for all of our songs and being confident in knowing how to put together different chord progressions is super important because it'll make you a better songwriter, a better improviser, a better player. And I'm often asked, you know, I wanna make a, a chord progression. What should I do? How do I do it? So in this lesson, we're gonna focus in on those minor sounds to give you some ideas for those moodier progressions. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at at our minor chord options within a key. So if you don't know about diatonic chords, we have a lesson on that that we will link below in the comments um, that you can go to to review the concept because it's really, really helpful. But for the purpose of this lesson, I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to play so you don't have to worry about that just yet if you don't want to. So in the key of G, the diatonic chords allow us to have an A minor, which is the minor two, We've got a B minor, which is the minor three, and then we have an E minor, which is the minor six, and also the relative minor of the key of G. So how do we use these minor chords to create a progression? Well, my very favorite and fastest way to get dark and moody is to use the minor six, which in this case will be E minor, with the minor two. So when you play those side by side, it's, you've already kind of got an ominous feeling going. So you can pick any pattern you like, you can break them up. Are you feeling sad yet? It's so moody. And then you can go anywhere you want from there. When you think about the chords of the most popular chord progression or the chords that are sort of gonna sound good together, we've got lessons on that too, um, you wanna resolve to maybe the one, which is the key, right? We're in the key of G. So we've got the E minor to the B minor to the G. We could go anywhere. We could use the four, E minor, B minor, C. That gives it a hopeful lift. We could go E minor, B minor, and then to the five. I really like that one. So when you take these minors and you combine them with the one, the four, the five, um, you have really unlimited options. So think about this in two parts. You've got your one, your four, your five chords of your key signature. So in the key of G, you've got G, C, and D. Those are your major chords. Those are the happy ingredients. And then you've got your minor chords, which could be the two, the three, and the six. So lots of numbers going around. So again, we've got videos on these concepts you can review if you like. But that was my, that was my first sort of favorite combination to use to get a minor sound. Another one I really, really like is when you start on the minor two, and then you go to the one, which is G, and then you go to the five. So you play that sort of slow and heavy. And you've got that, you've got a really dark mood and it doesn't resolve because you're moving um, from the minor two to the one and then the five. So it kind of feels like it's hanging there, which is what gives it sort of that mysterious sort of sound and energy. And then one more of my favorite combinations begins on a major. So that's a bit of a happier sound. We're gonna start on the four. So G's are one, two, three, fours. So C, then five, and then we're gonna end on that minor six. And again, that gives so much of like a mysterious sort of moody feeling. And then you can just repeat that combination. Play it down low, it sounds sort of heavy and dark. You can play it up high. Maybe for extra sadness. So you have a lot of options with any of these three examples. So the beautiful thing is, if you know your minor chords, you know the diatonic chords that belong to each key, so whatever key you wanna play this in, it'll work. And then you have to have a sense of creativity where you feel brave enough to just combine different ideas together and see what you like the sound of best. So a quick recap of these concepts. We've got the key of G for our example, We've got our major chords, which are kind of the core chords that are gonna sound good, which are the one, so G, the four, C, and the five, which is D. And then we've got our minor chords, which are what will give the song the sort of sad and moody vibe. So we've got our minor two, which in the key of G is A minor. We've got our minor three, which is B minor. And then we've got our minor six, which is E minor. So take these ingredients, Mix and match them however you like, have fun. Let me know what your favorite combination is, so comment below and we'll see you next time.